Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review. And today we're gonna review a fragrance also from the new Club de Nuit line from Armoff, and this is Armoff Club de Nuit Imperial. Now, as most of you may know, this is a dupe of Parfums de Marly Delina. I don't own that one. I have smelled that one. I actually do like that one a lot. I think it's really nice. I've just never felt like I needed it. Now, let's talk a little bit about the scent profile of this one. It is nice. It's sweet. It's fruity. It's floral. Um, it's sweet. Um, at least on my skin, it's pretty sweet. You have lychee in here. It doesn't mention rhubarb, which Delina has, but in the dry down, you, I feel like I pick up a little bit of tanginess. Is it as much as Delina? I don't think so. Um, but in terms of the scent profile itself, I would say it, it's like that nice, sweet, fruity, floral fragrance. Um, this one though, has this really nice fluffiness to it. And I feel like that's the best way for me to describe it. It has this thickness, this like fluffiness to it in a really nice way. And I feel like that is where it differs a little bit from Delina because I don't feel like it's like the same necessarily. Now, do I feel like it's very close and a good um, alternative to Delina? I would say yes. I don't think it's one-to-one. -one. I think it's really hard to find anything that's one-to-one. -one. I want to be really honest about that. But do I find it to be really close? Yes. Do I feel like this is worth a buy? Yes. So on my skin, this smells so good. I really enjoy this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I enjoy this more than Delina. Like I've never bought Delina. I've thought about it a time or two, but this one I liked so much after maybe my third wearing that I was like, I think I should buy a second bottle just in case. And I try really hard not to do backup bottles. But the problem is when you put something out there and the price is right and it smells really good and it's something that someone who has, you know, a lot of fragrances will keep reaching for even though they have so many other fragrances in their arsenal, it's really hard not to buy a backup bottle of it. So I've enjoyed wearing this one quite a bit. Again, it is sweet, flu fruity, floral. You're gonna smell the vanilla in there. Um, I don't know if you guys care about the notes. I'll go over them quickly. I'm never gonna dwell on notes because you can find them on Fragrantica, but you have lychee, bergamot, nutmeg, Turkish rose, peony, vanilla, musk, cashmere and vanilla, cedar, and incense. I don't really get a lot of the incense. I just get the fruitiness and the florals um, being Turkish rose and peony. The vanilla is very evident as is the lychee, that nice fruitiness. The musk is there. And I just wanna say this, it's not like super in your face for those of you guys who aren't huge musk people, but I think it brings the fragrance together really well. It just smells really, really good. It's really hard not to enjoy wearing this fragrance. In terms of performance, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily as loud as the other ones from uh, this newer line, but longevity is well over a workday. Again, over 12 hours worth. Um, it does sit closer for maybe the last like two hours of this, but I get really good projection for the first several hours and sillage again for most of the time you're wearing it. Uh, it goes pretty hard. This one I don't feel like projects as beastly, so I wouldn't really call this a beast mode fragrance, but I'd say the longevity is above average and projection is still above average, just not beast. Cause I feel like, I don't know, you guys really mean it when you use the word beast mode. So I want to come out and say that. And I want to say that that's not a bad thing. I don't feel like this DNA needs to be beast mode. Um, but it does smell really good. It lasts really long projects and value is through the roof for what you're paying and the performance that you're gonna get out of this fragrance. In terms of who can wear it, because people have asked me, um, can a man wear this? I feel like if you're comfortable enough to wear Delina, you should be comfortable enough to wear this, but I feel like it's worth mentioning that it is sweeter than Delina. I don't know though, because I feel like it just depends on the skin type that you have. If you have my skin sweetens things, right? If you have skin that takes sweet fragrances and takes the sweetness out of them, I feel like you could pull it off, but I feel like that's just worth mentioning. And in terms of age, which we don't like to do on this channel, it is not what I'd consider a mature fragrance. I would actually say it's a little bit more youthful than Delina um, because it is sweeter and it is denser and it is thicker than uh, its counterpart. So that's, in terms of uh, who can wear what I, my opinion is, 
in terms of when you could wear it, I personally feel like this is a date night fragrance. You could wear it uh, formally, although it is a little bit flirty. I wouldn't necessarily consider this a work fragrance, but I feel like because this isn't like super beast mode, it projects without being like, you know, straight in your nose. Um, I think you could wear it to work and I think it would do just fine. But it, again, it is a little bit more juvenile. So that is up to you season wise year round because it is thicker and denser. You could wear it in the winter when I don't know if you guys are typically wearing Delina in the winter. I feel like I see Delina as more of a spring through fall fragrance. This one, I would say four seasons, you're going to be just fine. Three sprays. You can get away with four sprays on this one because I feel like this one is less um, aggressive in terms of projection, although it does still project really well. But it is a really beautiful fragrance. Very hard to dislike in terms of compliments. This one also yields compliments. I would say not quite as much as Untold, but it smells really good. So so anyone that's in your immediate surroundings is going to smell it and it's really hard not to like guys it smells really good so compliment factor is definitely there and in terms of the price this one this one is like two out of the three of the others it's about fifty dollars on fragrance i will definitely link that down below for you guys again not an affiliate link i don't do any sort of anything with them um, but I think that's the only place you can buy it that's why I'm linking it and because a lot of you guys have asked for it um, so do I feel like this was a good purchase I 1000% think that this is a good purchase and for me I'm definitely planning on buying another bottle of this just because this line has been such an amazing value and this and untold have been some of my favorite pickups uh, probably definitely my favorite in December but probably Untold is definitely in my top five of 2022. This one may make it to top five, if not top 10, because it is so, so good. So if you were to ask me if it's worth the purchase, I would say absolutely yes. If you have tried this fragrance, comment down below. Let me know what you think, how it's worn on your skin. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you'd like to be subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I drop a new video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.